A new year and new challenges for colleges and students across the state. The same goes for the new president at Southern Connecticut State University. News 8's Scott McDonald take us a stroll across campus now to outline the fresh vision for the owls of Southern Connecticut State. Here's tonight's closer look. I say I loved your like um, platform and how you're making it a progressive Thank place. You. And that, makes, that really warms my heart. Oh, good. As the new president of Southern Connecticut State University. I'm Joe, I'm the president, by the way. It's very nice to meet you. Joe Bertolino has wasted no time getting to work. All right, be well. <laughs> Let's look at that, you bump into everybody here. And getting to know his students. When you took the job, what did you think? And were, were you excited about the possibilities here, just looking at the campus and what it's like? I, I, I fell in love with the place almost instantly. It's a striking campus, and his first order of business. Keep writing, you'll find your place, it'll be okay making sure people know about it. I think Southern Connecticut is a gem that a lot of people rather don't know about, don't know a lot about, or just take for granted. But it faces challenges. It's a tough time. For the last decade, enrollment has been on the decline at Southern. All colleges throughout the country, particularly in the Northeast and in New England, have been hit very hard um, by those demographics. And so as enrollment declines, the competition for those students increases. This year, the new class of 1,400 students has hit its target. Plus, retention is up. I'm happy with the education I've received here. To improve enrollment, Bertolino is setting out to make college at Southern more accessible, especially for part-time students. Students who just can't find the time because they're working. So the solution to that is for us to provide uh, more flexible scheduling, more online programming, more weekend and evening classes, etc. I hope that people recognize this is just a little gem. Highlighting curriculum current to workforce needs. I think people would be surprised. We have one of the best nursing programs in the country, top 10. And pushing forward affordable education in fields like biotechnology through a state-of-the-art science center. And my job as president is to ensure that we raise the profile, that people know we're here, that we're here to serve the community. And and as one student rolls by, um, that we're here to provide students like that with uh, opportunities for the next phase of their life. In New Haven, Scott McDonald, News 8.